In this demo, we show a real-time annotated map for disaster relief, coordination, and response. The legend on the left shows the different markers that are plotted on the map. As you can see, the idea here is to show flooded areas coming from satellite images along with location features extracted from OpenStreetMap. Finally, the other markers are for requested help gleaned from disaster tweets. These tweets are localized using our Linux tool. Now, let's filter out the locations by choosing a specific time range, for example, December 1st through December 2nd. Now, let's zoom in and see what we can explore. As you can see, this tweet is requesting help for a family. And now, if we hit the Match Needed button, it will match us to a location that can offer help. If you notice, we can actually see the directions to the matched location. This provides the potential of either directing people who are seeking help to the matched location or vice versa. Now let's try a harder location to detect. If you see, the northern region of the map is quite blue, indicating high flooding. In this next example, a 75-year-old couple is requesting for help. Now if we hit the Match Needed button, it will try and match us with the nearest location that can offer help. However, given the area of high flooding, the algorithm will not be able to perform. Therefore, the image of the red band will turn into a helicopter, indicating that a professional team is needed to access this region, and this region cannot be accessed by car. In summary, this tool can be useful to coordinate disaster relief in a real-time and automated fashion.